Welcome into a Michigan football short from Chat Sports. We've got a topic that I thought interesting. Wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it and also get your opinions. It's Nico Collins, Michigan's star receiver, I guess in some people's eyes, but he could have went to the NFL. Probably been a third, fourth round draft pick, maybe a second. Will we turn in 2020, as you obviously saw in the past few days? But could he be switching his number from the number four he's won for the past three seasons to number one? Michigan's wide, leading wide receiver in 2018, second by just a few yards and about a dozen catches or so to Ronnie Bell in 2019. And from his social media accounts yesterday, he could be considering switching his jersey from four to number one. So, got us some information, get you guys' opinion on Nico Collins, what he will be wearing, what you think he should be wearing next year on this Michigan football short. He's coming back next year. You saw this on social media, Nico Collins posting out. Um, this seems to be a new theme this year. I don't know who started this one, but it uh, seems everybody's doing it, whether they're leaving or not. Nevertheless, in the white text at the top, returning for his 2020 season, then puts this on his Instagram account. What did she do in 2020? Keep number four or switch change to the number one jersey, the fame number one jersey. Some of Michigan's greatest wide receivers have worn it, and for a while it was used as a motivation tool for younger wide receivers to get if they were, you know, the man as upperclassmen. But change when Jim Harbaugh came on, gave it to Kakoa Crawford as a freshman, and really hasn't been as valued as a recruiting or a motivation tool since. But Nico Collins, maybe he would deserve it. Let's see what the survey says, folks. Ding! 64% of the people on his poll said he should switch to the number 64, or number one. So 64%, two thirds of the people voting in the poll said, Nico, switch to jersey number one for the 2020 season. I'm gonna ask you guys, let's get down in the comment section. Let's see what you guys think. Which jersey should Nico Collins wear in 2020? The number four that he's been known for, Easily recognizable with a 6'4", 220 pound frame, or she switched to number one, made famous by Anthony Carter in the 70s and 80s, uh, and then revitalized its fame with David Trail, Braylon Edwards around the turn of the century, all the way through 2004. So answer below in the comments what jerseys number she wear, number four or number one. Let's talk a little bit more on this story, but before we do, I wanna ask you guys to get me to 5,000 Twitter followers, guys. I've been kinda of sitting there around 4,500, popped up to 4,787 over the past couple weeks, but some of my colleagues with more Twitter followers are saying, James, you see, you're the, the king of Michigan football, so you say, the people on Twitter don't believe, they retweet you, but they're not even following you. So give me a follow. We really appreciate us hitting some of our goals the show this year. Give me the 5,000, then we can all work on another goal, like beating the Ohio State Buckeyes. Nico Collins, considering number one jersey, and I think he should do it if he if he wants to do it. I think he's earned it, and I think it would be a, a nice change and a nice uh, you know thing to look forward to, having a, a wide receiver that's coming back that maybe some didn't expect him to. And potentially he could play in a more refined offense that's not, uh, you know, treading, you know, uh, I don't know, paddling in, what's the word, treading water, paddling, just wasn't doing good for the first half of the year. Maybe he can get those stats up to 60 or 70 catches, 1,200 yards, double-digit touchdowns, make himself into a first-round draft pick. But if you guys want to get the number one jersey, whether Nico has it or not, there's a sale going on right now on the number one jersey. It's the authentic Nike Jordan brand one. It's not even the cheap one that's like really plastically. It's like the stitch one. $50 off, folks. $50 off this one uh, is the price on that. So go to chatsports.com slash Michigan one. We'll put it in the comments. We'll put it in the description so you'll be really easy. Or you can just remember it. Chatsports.com slash Michigan one. That sale's going to end end of the week, it sounds like. So if you want an awesome jersey, an authentic one for $50 off, go to chatsports.com slash Michigan one. Nico Collins will be leading the wide receiver depth chart. And although Ronnie Bell led the team in yards and catches in 2019, I think Nico Collins is the unquestioned go-to guy in the offense. But I am projecting Giles Jackson will be the starter over Mike Sainer still, over potentially uh, a high-rising freshman next year in A.J. Henning. And then you've got uh, uh, you know, Mike Sainer still there in the slot. So you've got six wide receivers, I think, that will be uh, getting playing time from day one in this offense, which will feature four and five wide receivers quite a bit throughout the 2019 to 2020 season. One player I didn't mention there, Roman Williams, will have the opportunity to compete with Cornelius Johnson there as kind of the backup uh, uh, big wide receiver. Well, we'll see what happens. I think it's Nico Collins, Ronnie Bell, Giles Jacksons are your guys that are in on the, you know, 
offense on nearly every single play. But the one question we're going to all talk about this offseason is who will be the starting quarterback. I'm going to ask you guys to get the conversation going. I actually want to see you guys arguing, talking about each other's mothers, calling each other ugly. I want some JM and some DM battles in the comments all offseason long because I have never seen people more uh, polarizing on who they think Michigan's next quarterback is going to be up until this offseason. Joe Milton seems to be the fan favorite. I think Dylan McCaffrey is the more likely bet, if I were putting some money on it, bet the aside, of course, uh, for the starting quarterback game one at Washington next season. Thanks for watching this Michigan football short. I am your host, James Yoder. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, folks. If you want more Michigan football videos, we're trying to put out a video nearly every day in 2020. And while you're here, got nothing better to do. Watch one of our other videos here in the Michigan Football Report. Just click right here. Go Blue.